to make. <laughs> we've been married three months and I don't think we've ever quite, you know, gotten into what our fantasies are. You're a beautiful woman and I want to be a beautiful woman with you. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. You juggled oranges. Vons. Studio City. December 1st, 2001. You, dark hair. Off white pullover. Me, light brown hair. Black long sleeve polo. Couldn't think of anything to say. Still can't. We'll try to be more articulate when we meet. <laughs> I was lactating this morning. Do you want to suckle it? Come on, call me Shelby and suckle it. Play with my hair? <laughs> That's right. Pardon the oxies. Gotta keep the skin clear. For beauty's sake. For beauty's sake. Uh, one student ticket for Danger Zone. I'm gonna need to see a student ID. <laughs> you know what? I totally forgot it in the car. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Uh, one Snickers and, uh... One Milk Duds. Sure, six dollars? So, I'm, I'm working on a screenplay. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's about these two guys on the run from the mob. So they pose as obstetricians, but they don't know anything about childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia. Do you think I'm stupid, Rigoberto? Is that it? No, Mija. It's not what it seems. How dare you! How dare you lie to me in my own home? You've made love to me in my home. Now you have an affair with my 16-year-old daughter? Mother, he's in love with me. And I'm in love with him. Rachel! And what's more, I'm having his baby. Maria. <laughs> Dios mio. I'm going back to Spain with him, Mother. You can't stop us or deny our love. Rachel, go to your room. No, Mother. Go! <laughs> Claudia. You're through. You'll be on the next plane to Madrid if you value your career and reputation. You poison everything you touch. Every life. Get out! Get out of here! Leave me alone. With my pain. And my liquor. How are you? Uh, hot tamales, please. Two fifty. Thanks. See, that's the thing. People don't really care how you are. After all, in Ecclesiastes three fourteen, thou shalt help thy neighbor through an all the tunnels that I've set so Prozimtie. Ja ne vim proč. Ja ne vim proč. To není pravda. Ale. To není pravda. 
One senior for the seven o'clock almost a woman. Five fifty. What? Five fifty. Ow! You don't have to hurt my ears. Hurt my ears. Huh, danger zone. What's that about? The war in Yugoslavia. Uh, who's in it? A cast of unknowns. Croatians, Bosnians, Serbians. Eh, let's go see what's playing at the multiplex over at the mall. Okay, what should we see? There are a lot of movies playing here. They're all great. Worth seeing. Come on, you can do better than that. Fudge on Sunday starts in 15 minutes. It's a touching family drama. What's that one about? It's a coming-of-age story about a girl whose little sister is dying of cancer, but they always eat fudge on Sunday. It'll be 8.50. Stephanie, when she gives you the popcorn, press down on it to make sure that she filled it to capacity. These people are always trying to cheat ya. <laughs> oh, Floria, you're so cute. When is that bitch gonna get here? Hi, I'm so sorry I'm late. I tried to rush, but I just couldn't make myself. That's okay. Popcorn. Oh, lover. <laughs> I grew out my hair long for you, honey. I knew you liked long curls. <laughs> oh god, I think I wet my panties. <laughs> We're both such beautiful women. <laughs> I'm a little more beautiful than you are, but... You still turned me on. At the same time, like, I've been cleaning all day. The last tenants, they left all this bizarre personal hygiene product lying around, and... Hold on a second. Oh yeah, the other thing? My next door neighbor keeps spying on me. Hello! <laughs> Patrice, what are you doing here? I was just paying you a neighborly visit, and you rudely interrupted me mid-knock. Latrice, this is the third time this week I've caught you listening into my conversations at the door, and I don't appreciate it. I don't know what you had going on with the last tenant, but that's just not going to happen here. Um, the, the part about me listening at the door, that's not true. Okay, this, this, uh... Look, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. Uh, you know what? Don't be sorry. I'm not losing out here. You're the loser. Goodbye, Latrice. Uh, no, mm-mm. No, no, I'm not through with you. Hi. Yeah, that was her. I know. What a mess. I might have been a little tongue-tied before, but I know just what I've got to say to you. And I know where you hide your spare key. It's Latrice! Hello? Oh my god! She's dead. Latrice doesn't see me, because I'm a ghost. Oh my god. No wonder she was such a bitch. 
A hemorrhoid problem will do that to you. Especially if you're a, a bed wetter. <laughs> I hate you. Oh. Apply to vulva two times a day as needed. It's, it's not, not my little oh. ant poison. Looks like this is what did her in. <laughs> what a moron. Just, Just leave, leave me alone. alone. Get regular tea. What's wrong? Were you constipated? Did you have diarrhea? <laughs> diarrhea all the time? Woman! <laughs> I really love this. It's the perfect revenge. I can say whatever I want, and you can't say a thing. Just go away. Go away. Yeah, that's right. Oh, supernatural powers. <laughs> go away? No thanks. I'm not going anywhere. I'm having too much fun. No! I hate you! Come on, let's just jump right on her. Yes! Ew! You got this on my button? What were you trying to do? Get my eye? Now I'm gonna have to wash my shirt off. But you're still dead. <laughs> masturbating in the afterlife. How embarrassing. I can't, I can't believe, believe this! I guess I better go call the morgue. Have fun at the autopsy. <laughs> Loser. Street poem. Tree against the sky makes me want to scream. Kitty has no ears. Tonight she'll give me a funky dream. The dog has very, 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 very short legs. Very, very, very short legs, short legs. I once saw an old man. I thought his name was Sam. I think it was Jeannie, but I don't know how. Jay Walker. Jay Walker. Be careful when you walk, you jaywalker. Lady has cool hair, oh please lady, tell me where. Where can I get a hairdo like that? Shadows, shadows, shadows falling on the ground. Please, pretty shadow, tell me what secrets can be found within you. Discarded cigarette, check mic, one, two, hey. Once I put a lit cigarette the wrong direction in my mouth and the lit and burnt my lips, yay. Sweet graffiti. You are a treat. Someone had a car accident, and that's no fun. Beep, 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 beep. Now there's cars. Boom, shoom, 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 boom. And there's geometrical shapes. Shang, shang, oom, lang, lang. But I want to take you home, my fine fella, and eat a big orange grape. Triangles and a man with a shovel. Bird, little bird, tell me, tell me why. Why don't you come to my big hovel? Hey guys, did you read that older book? Oh yeah, that's my favorite story. Oh, my favorite story. Hello, my morning glory. My friend Cosette told me, There is a castle on a cloud. I hear you real loud. Bird, 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 bird and squirrel. Never saw such a thing as a bird, bird, and squirrel. The statue says farewell. What shall he say to you? Go on and ask him. Go on. I dare you. It's open. Hey, Ma. How's it going? What's up? Well... College graduation's one week away, and I'm graduating magna cum laude. 
I'm so psyched. Honey, that's great. Want to prune? No thanks, Ma. So I'm sure you'll be proud to know that I aced all of my final exams, and my philosophy professor says that I write better than most graduate students. That's great, sweetie. But how's your health? Are you regular? Do you have enough fiber in your diet? I guess. Anyway, my advisor tells me that I stand a really good chance of getting into law school. Wonderful. You know, your little sister Sherry's had some accomplishments of her own lately. She had some very impressive BMs today. I'm so proud of her. Sherry, come see your, he, your brother. He's visiting from college. Hi, Derek. I made a little girl BM, and I made its big brother. And we saved it for you. You can see it. Come on, Derek. See, Derek? Aren't you proud of your little sis? Uh, sure. <laughs> so, Mom, I know you wanted me to live at home just and stay with you this summer, but actually, I think I'm going to try to get an apartment with some of my fraternity brothers. Oh, no, sweetie. You're staying right here with me and your little sister this summer. You may think those fraternity brothers are your friends, but I don't think they're duly concerned about your fecal output. Now, I know you're used to the freedom of college life, but I'm going to be keeping a close watch on you. There are going to be some weekly rectal exams in this household, buddy. Mom, I am a legal adult now and soon to be a college graduate. I'm in the grown-up world, and I don't need to be coddled and have my mother monitor my bathroom habits. Sherry, go in your room. I don't want you to hear this. Okay, Mom. See, Derek, you upset your little sister. Is that what they teach you at college? Breaking up the family life? No. You know what to do to make your mama happy. Get in there and make your mama proud. Take a load off. Mom! <sighs> okay, fine. If it'll settle this petty dispute, I'll do it. I'm not happy about it. Thank you, Derek. Okay, Mom, are you happy now? Don't flush, honey. Let your mama see. Let me see. Go on. Eat your hearts out. Derek, you have really outdone yourself. <laughs> you really are my big bro. Someone to look up to. Come here, sweetie. My big boy made a very big stool. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing to me? Love making it so beautiful. Oh, oh, I love to make love to you, lover. Oh, <laughs> look, I had some lint in my belly button. It's caught in the hair. I'll put it in my pocket. <laughs> Do you mind that I'm such a hairy woman? It's kind of nice, isn't it? Some, another toy to play with. <laughs> Mom, Claire, aren't you worried about midterms? No way, Cassidy. I've got Professor Trudell wrapped around my proverbial little finger. He doesn't show me any mercy. I'll be lucky if I can mustard a B minus. Mustard? Oh. Don't you agree, Ogle? Uh, sometimes you've got to be you, even when you're not you. You're talking nonsense. I wasn't saying anything about that. Hey! You're not listening to me. I'm trying to tell you about my messy divorce, and you're sitting here watching the soap opera. 
Do you think that this fiction is more important than my reality? Alexis, I'm listening to you. Okay, fine. So I'm caught in this legal battle. Missed alimony checks, lawyers, all these new girlfriends who are half my age, and I can't even remember what it was like when I loved him. When I look at him, it's not that I even see anyone who I could have ever loved. Paisley, help me with this math problem. I know it's going to be on the midterm. Okay, shoot. A postman delivers a package to your house at 1 o'clock. Wait, how big is this package? <laughs> Come on, Pays, concentrate. You live 70 kilometers away from the post office. He has 25 minutes to deliver his next three packages. How long does it take to deliver the third package? All I know is that your questions are making me horny and I'm trying to study. Thanks for nothing. The school on top of the hill, Mulberry Commons. What if? What if? Okay, Kimra. What if? You're cleaning behind your toilet, and you notice a small blob that looks like it's made out of goo and fur. What would you do? Ew, Freda. Well, I'd probably try to skewer it with the end of my mop and put it in the trash. But what if, as soon as you touch it with the end of your mop, it starts screaming? Then it starts sighing. <sighs> then it starts chuckling. <laughs> then it starts screaming again. Wow, 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 wow. What if? Ooh, let's do some role playing, honey. Let's pretend we're like two women neighbors and. We're having a, f a secret affair, but our husbands just came home. They discovered us. Oh, hi, Steve. Hi, Joe. Hi, me and Rhonda are just getting to know each other a little better. <laughs> oh, do you like what you see? Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. T, I said you are worth waiting for, and everyone who sees you knows you are beautiful. I'm truly sorry we could not speak slash meet again. You're still worth waiting for, always. I'm worth it too. The sleepover. so much fun. This is my first sleepover, and I was homesick, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no reason to be homesick. My parents will take great care of you. They're real nice. <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun here. Come on, I'm starving. Let's see if my mom's casserole is ready. Oh, hi, girl. Mom, do you need any help in the kitchen? Yeah, dinner's almost ready. Could you set the table? Sure, Mom, no problem. Yeah, totally. I, Beth, can you show me how to set the table? I, I don't have to do it at my house, and I'm not sure I know how to. Don't worry about it. It's a breeze. Here, put these plates on the table. It's not that hard. And I'll take care of the rest. Okay. Chairs. This is how we set the table at my house. Kids, dinner's ready. Rick, dinner. It smells great. Hey, kiddo. All right, everybody, have a seat. Ooh, mother, I can't wait to dig in. Pass 
got over this way. <clears throat> oh, the best ones you've made. It's beautiful. Pass me some. Claire, honey, come on, take a seat. Sit down. Dinner's getting cold. Um. Um. from him all day. Well, it's, uh, it's very nice to have you over for dinner, Claire. Mm. <clears throat> What's wrong? I need to go home. It's okay, honey. I understand. It's your first sleepover. It's a long way from home. Thanks for understanding, Mrs. Horbell. Hop in, honey. Watch out for that creepy family. Such conjugal bliss. But honey, now that we're lesbians, do you miss penetration? I picked up something on the way home from work today, honey. Come on, honey, put it on. Shelby likes penetration too. Put it on. Show Shelby what you're packing. Ah. Uh. Just 